This tutorial is for beginners and uses Node Wrangler, which can be enabled in Edit Preferences add-ons. If your screen doesn't look the same, don't worry, I have some other add-ons which I won't use. Screencast Keys is enabled in the bottom left corner. A to select all, X to delete. Shift A to add a torus. In the bottom left, you can change settings. Control 2 to create a subdivision surface. This will smooth out and add extra geometry non-destructively. Donuts are not perfect. Tab into edit mode, O for proportional editing. Make the torus wobbly. The scroll wheel can change the size of influence. Alt click to select edge loops. Control R to add two loop cuts above and below the middle line. Then select the middle loop and scale it inward slightly with S. Select the top faces of the donut. Shift D to duplicate. P, separate by selection. Slightly scale the frosting. The solidify modifier can be used to make the frosting thick. If you want the frosting to be round, take the solidify modifier and move it before the subsur. Select everything except the bottom edge and press H to hide. Randomize the edge and add droplets. Don't forget to fill the hole too. To randomize the frosting, we'll use Sculpt mode. Sculpting is destructive, so apply the modifiers by mounting over and pressing Ctrl A and enter the sculpting workspace. Draw whatever you want using any brush. F to change brush size, Shift F to change brush strength. The smooth brush will smooth out your extremes. If you see a sudden change in color, it means the icing mesh passed under the donut mesh. Draw over it with a raising brush like draw or clay strip. Create a sprinkle, just one. I use the subdivided cube. Go back to the icing and add a particle system. Change it to hair. Currently the hair goes everywhere. Go to vertex settings, create a new vertex group called sprinkle and enter weight paint mode. The warmer the color, the heavier the value is, the more sprinkles there will be. Color the top red. Weight 0 is the same as erase. Once you're done, go back to particle settings, vertex groups, density to sprinkles. Enable advanced. In render, set visibility to object and pick the sprinkle. Change scale, enable rotation and set to normal or normal tangent. Up randomness and reduce particle count. I put the original sprinkle in a new collection so it's invisible. For materials, enter the shading workspace. Hide the icing with H. Select a donut and create a new material. We want a doughy material that has a line in the center. Add a texture coordinate node. Object goes into separate XYZ. Take the Z coordinate and put it through a color ramp. Put black stops on either side of the white stop and make it thinner. The white is too high, so add a mapping node and move it down. If we plug the color ramp into the shader, we have a weird material. Change the color of the stops. You can copy paste colors. Next we need to add texture. Add a noise texture and a bump node. Factor to height, normal to normal. Increase detail for grain and roughness to rough out the peaks. Decrease bump strength. Bump maps add detail without changing geometry. If you want to change geometry, use the displacement modifier. Create a texture and change it to clouds. Increase scale and reduce strength. Decrease the roughness so it's shinier, like oily bread. A mix RGB set to add is used for some slight variations in color. Finally, add subsurface. Subsurface colors the inside of the donut. Set all the radii to 0 0.2 and increase the yellow radius. For the icing, color, lower roughness so it's shiny and red subsurface radius. The sprinkles are different. Use object info for the random. If stuck in the color ramp, every sprinkle will be on the gradient. Set the color ramp to constant and choose some colors. 
Using these techniques, you should be able to make a pretty basic scene. The final step is to add lighting using an HDRI. I also have an HDRI video set up for more details.